In this video for section 1.6, we're going to talk about how to solve an equation with degree 4. Degree 4 means that 4 is the largest exponent in our polynomial. So here's uh, what we're looking at. 3x to the 4th equals 27x squared. What we want to do first is rewrite it so that the right side is 0. So in order to do that, I would subtract 27x from both sides to move the 27x to the left side. Then I would have nothing left on the right. So that leaves me with 3x to the 4th minus 27x squared equals 0. So I can also type that in. Now the next step is to factor. So what I'm going to do is look for something that I can put on the outside. I can see that both have a 3 in common. 3 and 27 can both be divided by 3. So that can go on the outside. And I can also put x squared on the outside. In terms of variables, we're looking for what the lowest power on x is. That tells me how many x's I can take out. So I can take out 2x's or x squared. Now what do I have left? Well, I'm multiplying this out to get 3x to the 4th. I don't need to multiply the 3 by anything because I already have 3 here, um, but I do need to multiply by some x's. So to get 2x to the 4th, I need two more x's or x squared. And then for the second term, I don't need any more x's because I already have x squared, but I need to multiply something by 3 to get 27, and that would be 9. 3 times 9 would be 27. So that's my result of factoring. Now we're going to continue to factor the set of parentheses in number two. So my three x squared, I'm just going to carry over on the outside, and then I'm going to look at x squared minus nine. Well, we talked about this uh, earlier. We have a perfect square here, three. We have no middle term. So that means that we're looking for two sets of parentheses where we have x and x, and then our number here is a number that multiplies by itself to equal 9, and that would be 3. So we have x minus 3 and x plus 3. Now we're going to use our answer to number 3 to find the solutions to the equation. So when we talked about this before, we would get two sets of parentheses and set each set of parentheses equal to 0 to solve. Now we have another piece here because we have this 3x squared. So all three of these pieces we can set equal to zero and solve each. For 3x squared equals zero, I'm going to divide both sides by three. Um, I'm going to go over here to the left, I guess. That gives me x squared equals zero. And then if we take the square root of both sides, we see that x has to be 0. The only number squared that equals 0 is 0 itself. From these other two equations, we get x equals 3 and x equals minus 3. So our three solutions are 0, 3, and negative 3. Now we're going to graph this on the graphing calculator at desmos.com. And the question is, what are the x-intercepts of the graph? So let me pull that over here. So here's my graph. 3x to the 4th minus 27x squared. So I can see that I have an x-intercept here at 0, 0, one at 3, 0, and one at negative 3, 0. So 3, negative 3, and 0, which is just what we found from solving.
Now, how is the x-intercept at zero different from the other x-intercepts? We see it looks a little bit funny here um, because these x-intercepts, the graph is uh, crossing the x-axis. This one, it doesn't cross. It actually does what's called touching and turning around. So it approaches, and I can zoom in here if I want to see it even um, more closely. It approaches the x-axis. It touches the x-axis, but it does not go through the x-axis. It turns around and goes back downward. So that's different from these other two x-intercepts. So now we're going to repeat the process above to do another example. This one is 3x to the fourth equals 12x squared. I'm going to move this problem out of the way so I have a little bit more space. Uh, we're going to start with moving the 12x squared over so that we have 0 on one side of the equation. So I'm going to do minus 12x squared on both sides. That gives me 3x to the 4th minus 12x squared equals 0. Now I'm going to factor this. So start by looking at the numbers. 3 and 12, I can take out a 3. And then I can also take out 2x's, so that's x squared. Then what do I have left? I have x squared left from the first term and minus 4 from the second term. Next. I'm going to factor this set of parentheses. What number multiplied by itself gives me 4? That would be 2. So x minus 2, x plus 2. So now we have 3x squared equals 0, x minus 2 equals 0, and x plus 2 equals 0. So for the first one, divide by 3 and then take the square root, and we get x equals 0. For the second one, I'm adding 2 to both sides, I get x equals 2, and then subtracting 2 from both sides, and I get x equals minus 2. So these are my three answers here, 0, 2, and negative 2. And now I'm going to graph it on the decimals graphing calculator again. So pull this over, turn my old graph off, and this is the new graph. So again, looking at where my x-intercepts are, they're at 0, 2, and negative 2, which matches what I got from solving. 